In this problem, a heavy cylinder of weight W and radius A is supported by a light bar of length capital L and a cable of length lowercase L. Our task is to find the tension in the cable. Let us begin by drawing a free body diagram for the cylinder. It involves the weight. It involves a horizontal force associated with the constraint imposed by the vertical wall. Also, the cylinder is in contact with the bar, and if we assume that the contact is smooth, then the constraint is along the motion in the radial direction, and here is the force representing that constraint. Next, consider the free body diagram for the light bar. It is pivoted at the bottom to constraints, both on translations, therefore the free body has two forces. There is a constraint imposed by the cylinder, and this force is shown is in green to indicate that these two forces are related by the third law. Finally, there is a constraint imposed by the cable, which is supposed to produce tension in the cable, and the force is along the cable. So, to write down equilibrium equations, I need to do a little bit of work on geometry. And I will do it beforehand. So let me draw the wall ABD, the bar ACGE, and the cable DE, and the cylinder is at O. First, let me pay attention to the triangles A, B, O, and the triangle A, O. C. In these triangles, the edge AO is common. The angles ABO and ACO are equal to 90 degrees, and BO and CO are the radii. Therefore, these two triangles are equal. As a result, I can conclude that the angle BAO and the angle CAO are equal, and I will call these angles theta. Let me observe from the triangle AOC the tangent theta is OC divided by AC, or simply, it gives us that AC is equal to A quad theta. Also, I will need the angle COG. This angle could be calculated if I extend BO horizontally, and then observe that the angle BOA and the angle AOC are equal and they're equal to 90 degrees minus theta. As a result, I obtained that the angle COG is equal to theta. Finally, I can look at the triangle ADE and observe from this triangle that sine 2 theta is equal to lowercase l divided by capital L. Let's proceed with equilibrium equations. The circle. That's how the free body diagram looks, and that's the angle that we calculated on the previous slide. And I will write down some of the forces on Y. It involves the weight and the normal force imposed by the bar. From this equation, I obtain immediately that N is equal to W over sine 2 theta. Please note that 
I didn't write the moment equilibrium equation because all forces intersect at the center of the cylinder and therefore for all forces the arms are equal to zero and therefore the moments are equal to zero. Also, I didn't write the equation sum of the forces on X. That equation would engage this force. If this force were needed, I could have written this equation to find the force, but that's not necessary for my current purposes. Next, I will proceed to the bar. And for the bar, I'll write just one equation, sum of the moments about A. This equation engages the force M and the tension in the cable T. The arms are AC because M is perpendicular to the bar and the arm is AE but here is a mistake it has to be AE uh, times cos to theta. So if I substitute the value for n, it is w over sine 2 theta, ac, a over tangent theta, and uh, the arm is l cos 2 theta. This gives me the result t equal to w a over l divided by sine 2 theta cos 2 theta tangent theta. If any one of you wants to impress me, you could show that this result could be simplified and written in terms of the variables that are given, namely a, little l, and capital L. Again, this value is not AE, but the vertical projection of AE, and here this is done correctly. Thank you.